Happy game day, Arkansas fans, and welcome into our first Razorback game day conversation of the season. Every game day, we'll take you inside the X's and O's with everything you need to know before the Hogs hit the field. And today we have the voice of the Hogs, the legendary announcer, Chuck Barrett, to give you the inside scoop on the Hogs and the Rice Owls. All right, Chuck, it's been eight months since Arkansas was on the field, two years really since we had a normal season. Just what's the excitement level for you headed into Saturday? Well, from a football perspective, it's another season and it's the second year of Sam Pittman's regime and I think we're going to continue to see the improvement there. But, you know, just from an overall perspective, I think we all discovered last year how much we miss the overall pageantry of college football. You miss the fans, you miss the band, you miss tailgating, you miss all that stuff. That's what makes college football what it is. And so I think for everyone to be able to come back and to have a a sense of normalcy again. I think that's probably the thing that's most exciting. How much of a, of a difference do you think that's going to make for these guys? Well, I think we're going to continue to see progress with our program. I think we're, we're going to continue to see a much more physical football team, an SEC-ready team. I think when they walk out on the field Saturday, people that are at the stadium, they're going to recognize that they're looking at an SEC football team. And we've not been able to say that in a while. And so um, this team's going to be a lot better, perhaps, than some of the pundits think. And I'm looking forward to seeing them play. Looking at the matchup, what are, what are your thoughts as you've been uh, studying up? Well, you know, Rice has nothing to lose and everything to gain. They're playing an SEC team. And, and they're going to come in here and they're going to play free and easy. And um, I'm sure their coach is going to have them convinced they can win. Uh, from a Razorback perspective, um, you know, I'm not sure we've won enough to act like a three touchdown favorite just yet. Um, you got to go out and play your game. You got to go out and execute. If they do that, I think they'll be okay. Do you think we see a lot of depth on Saturday? Some, some seconds, some, some third stringers? I think you will. I think it's a day when you're going to have to rotate when you consider the weather and um, all the things that go into that. Now, you know, the one thing I'm going to say about our football team is I think that our depth overall is better, and I think that you're going to see that reflected in special teams. I think you're going to see it overall reflected on this team. We've got better players uh, top to bottom than we've had. And, and I think that, yeah, you'll see guys rotate, not just out of necessity Saturday, but because you've got good players that can rotate in there. You can't have your best players playing every down on defense and playing special teams. You just can't do that. And, and so um, I think as the depth improves, you'll see the overall team improve. What do you expect to see from KJ compared to what we saw last year? Well, I'm sure there will be nerves. Um, you know, it's his first uh, first time to open the season as the clear number one starter, but this guy's got a lot of ability. He's new to us because we've not seen him as the starting quarterback, but he's been around here a while. It's not like he just showed up. Um, he's got the respect of his teammates. He's a leader in the locker room. Uh, they want to play for him. They want to do well for him. And I would expect KJ to do well himself. Who do you think could fly under the radar this year and be a big difference maker? I think one of the stories this season is going to be the improvement of the Arkansas defense. Statistically, this was not a real good defense last year, particularly on third down. I think the additions along the defensive line are going to allow them to rotate. I think you're going to see a better pass rush. We're solid in the secondary, and we've not always been solid in the secondary. So. I think there's an opportunity for our defense to be one of the surprises this year. And, you know, I think about guys like Trey Williams and, and Markel Utsi that transferred from Mizzou and John Ridgeway that came in. And, you know, we've got guys like Bumper Poole who've been around a while. And our corners are both solid and our depth in the secondary solid. So I think our defense will be a big story this year have a, uh, a prediction for, for Saturday afternoon? Well, I got out of the prediction business a long time ago, but I will say that I think Arkansas has got an opportunity to, to be a solid football team this year. And I think we're going to begin to find out a lot about that on Saturday. Rice is kind of an old school team. They're going to run the ball. They're going to use a fullback. They're going to use two tight ends. They're going to try to throw you, you know, knock you around a little bit, push you around. It's going to be a hot day. I think it's a physical test. And I think it's exactly the way they need to start the season. 